Hi everyone, how are you all? Thank you so much for being patient. Um, we've got a lot going on at Stamps By Me, as you can appreciate, but it is lovely to see you all. I do love to sit and read all the lovely comments, people saying, is she live? What's going on? People hiding mail from husbands. Oh my gosh, you are a funny bunch. So welcome Joe, Adele, Jan, May, Lorraine, Sue, Elizabeth, Shirley, Selma, Tracy. Where's Pat Pepper today? Where's Pat Pepper? <laughs> Eric, and I'm a guest presenter over on Create and Craft, and I love anything to do with crafting. So stamping, die cutting, colouring, just enjoying myself, basically. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click the subscribe button. The little HD button gives you a better viewing experience. And if you have the time, please pop a little like if you like the video and a comment underneath after we've gone live. That's much appreciated if you do that. Um, this um, allows us to get a wider reach on YouTube. More viewers, more inspiration, more sharing. It's just, it's just amazing. So in today's studio, you're probably thinking, yay, I've got all my kit out and I've got my hands and my heart and you're ready to go. Not today, unfortunately. So as you all know, um, we have to be quite fluid at Stamps By Me and I know you're all very patient anyway, but basically yesterday I was on TV Monday we had technical issues, so we couldn't go live, which has only just been sorted as well. So we weren't sure if we were even going to be able to go live today as well. Basically, we had some error signs flashing up at us and things like that. So hopefully we have ironed it out. We thought we had a nasty virus, which was going to cost a lot of money, but we've rectified it. So um, we are able to go ahead. However, rather than start the lovely Craft Academy stamp now, and then not be able to continue it on for the rest of the week. What I've decided to do is I have decided to start it on Monday. I hope that is okay. The reason is yesterday we were on Create and Craft so we missed it again. Today and then I'm back on Create and Craft tomorrow. So that's great news. So I'm on Create and Craft tomorrow at 12 o'clock for two back-to-back -back hours. So the two back-to-back -back hours that we had on um, Christmas yesterday was so successful and I had so much time to be able to um, demonstrate and do demos in those two back-to-backs that they've asked me to go again tomorrow and do two back-to-backs as well. So, however, there are no new products, which is great really, in the sense that you are able to sit back and um, enjoy the demos because you've already probably bought what you liked or what you loved. Okay, uh, I'm absolutely hating the focus on my face right now. Thank you very much. <laughs> we have a new camera gentleman today called Nathan and he's um, learning the ropes, but my face is just not a good face today. I'm so <laughs> tired. He's laughing his head off at me now. Um, so uh, because it was so successful, we are doing it again tomorrow at 12 o'clock. There are a few older um, Christmas products from last year at some super super prices so you might see something you like i'm not encouraging you to spend more money on christmas not at all but you may see something that you like i'm going to in be incorporating new and old and we're going to do a bit of mixed media paints we've got some paints in the show too so whatever's happening tomorrow at 12 o'clock you can put your feet up and you can just enjoy the shows grab a cup of tea it's always nice to be in my studio but it is always nice to be in the live studio at create and craft too so i hope that's okay so what we'll do is monday we will start the heart stamp i would rather as you all know um, a lot of you have followed me for a while i would rather do a job and do it well than do something half-hearted and I would rather not just do a quick lesson here and a quick lesson three days later and a quick lesson. I'd like to focus on something so you all have clarity of how you're going to use the product, what you're going to do with it and, 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 and enjoy it and rather than not know when, um, where, what's next, what we're doing next and things like that. So I do like focus and so we're going to concentrate on that one from Monday and we'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Is that okay? So... It, from reading the comments here, it looks like you all thoroughly enjoyed the shows yesterday. I had a great time. I did loads of demos, didn't I, which is fab. And it's nice when you can get through so many demos and um, show so many different sorts of takes on Christmas because I appreciate some people like arty ones like me. But I'm also mindful that people also want to do your absolute traditional. So whether that's a stamp and mat and layers and ribbons and bows, then you can do that too. So, and you all liked me dress. 
I have actually worn that one before. It's um, the bow that went round the centre starting to social distance. So I noticed the arms of the bow were not as long. So that means it's got wider to go round. <laughs> Can you imagine? So funny. But anyway, I'm sure we're all in the same boat. Um, enjoying, not enjoying the lockdown, but you know, eating probably more than we should. So let's craft. So today, I know, Joe, how rude about my paint palette, but do you know what? He did actually make me think I better get it out. I better sort it out. So I have actually cleaned it. I have cleaned it. And when I was cleaning it, I was thinking, yep, Dean, thank you very much. I am now her clean palette again. But we do so much, don't we? We craft so much here in studio. I craft myself outside of studio. So um, at least you know I'm a true crafter, hey? So uh, I have cleaned it, yep. I'm back on track. So in today's studio, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the new Christmas stamps and I'm going to use some of our older um, dies as well. Uh, the die that I am using is in the show tomorrow, but don't please, if you like it, please don't buy it from me. There is a superb price over on Create and Craft tomorrow at 12. So please um, sit tight and just see if um, the prices are good for you tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a nice Christmas card. I'll drink my coffee. Oh, Pat Pepper's on. Hi, Pat. We did miss you at the beginning. I hope you're well. I hope you're all well, actually. It's lovely for you to all join us every single day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this lovely one here. So this is the home for the holidays, and it's the one with the beautiful cabin and the bridge on there. And I'm also going to use this lovely um, star, and it's huge. Look at the size of this one here. We call it star it's actually more like a snowflake it can be a star but it's actually more like a snowflake and i'm going to use one of the outline dies it comes with two outline dies and we're going to do a lovely lovely christmas card today so i hope that you will um try and replicate it after the show or try and do something very similar because that would be super cool this is going to be a lovely card i can feel it so first of all i have piece of white card when I can pick it up so first of all we're going to do so let's just chop it up today we're going to do an eclectic mix of things so I have this lovely snowflake stencil that um, Glitz Craft were on TV yesterday and I obviously haven't got a snowflake so I asked her if I could have her, one of her snowflake stencils and she was kind enough to give me this little one here I think it is a stencil which you put the paste through and it gives you a full card can you see that there so um but i'm just going to use the little um snowflakes there are some little stars on here too as well so um thank you leona for giving me this lovely stencil and what i'm going to do is i have a couple of ink pads here let's have a look any questions are you still sending your cards in yes that's reminded me, um, Gillian, actually, I've received a lovely card this morning. I'm not, I'm not saying the name. It did make me cry. Um, so I have a box of lovely cards. That is going to be an epic show, isn't it, hey? So, yes, keep your cards coming. And when we get to the end of craft therapy, and guess what as well? I have a surprise for you all. Who likes, who likes surprises? I hate surprises. <laughs> but... I have a surprise for you all and that's all I'm telling you right so we're going to use um, broken china and I'm just going to pick up some of this lovely color with my blending brush and I'm just going to stencil through and I really want these to be light and you'll see why soon I really want them to be super super light so I'm just going to stencil through this little snowflake as light as I can. Can we see that there? Just see it there. So let's just move this around a little bit. Just pop some ink through. So I'm just doing it random. Can we see that there? This is actually a really lovely stencil. I must do more. I must do a snowflake and <coughs> some stencils for next year, hey? do something different next year I have thoroughly enjoyed this year's collection though I have had so much fun with it um, 
and I'm sure you guys are going to too. So I'm just randomly popping some detail on here. Pop one here maybe. So I'm not trying to be like, um, not doing it in a uniform manner, just random. So if you have a stencil with a, with a nice snowflake on Brilliant, if you don't, um, maybe you have a nice little snowflake stamp, which you could just do on this background area here. So I'm trying to keep this as light as possible and you'll see why in a second. So and then just maybe catch one on this corner here. There we go. So there we have our lovely sort of background. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to use the next colour, which is Mermaid Lagoon. I'm just going to put some on my mat here. I'm just going to spray it with some water. I'm just going to get my tissue and I'm just going to take away the harsh edges so I don't get a harsh edge on my work. In fact, I want this to be really light so what I'm going to do I'm going to absolutely add loads of water, loads and loads. I'm just going to pick up some of that colour because I don't want it to be dark. So I'm just going to go a touch here. Can we see just a, the smallest of wash? I don't want it to be dark because this is not the focal point of my card. Let's leave that as is, that's fine. So let's clean away this mess. And let's dry this one off. So I'll have to do some stencils. I know I will have to do some Christmas stencils. I'll just dry this one off. So we're going like Christmassy silvers and blues today, not gold. I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit today. Have I decided if I'm opening my shop? Not yet. I haven't really had time to give it much thought at the moment. Um, I, I think it's definitely going <clears> to, <throat> if it is going to open, it will be after Craft Academy. I really like doing craft academy and I know a lot of you like craft academy so my focus is still my priority is still craft academy at the moment um, I think we've got about five weeks of craft academy left but we think we've had to push one of the weeks on um, I think we've got about five weeks, so we will definitely not be opening in five weeks. I'm not saying we will not open because, you know, we have to remain, I know I keep saying it, fluid. We have to, things can change at the turn of a corner, can't they? So um, I would never say never, but I'm definitely not opening until Craft Academy's finished. If there is any focus on opening, I hope that's okay. Oh, Dor Doreen's loved this year's collection and she's got last year's collection. Well, you might want to tune in tomorrow, Doreen, because I'm going to mix them up tomorrow. So you need to get all your old products out as well. I'm going to show you how we can make them work together. So what I'm going to do here is I have this lovely, lovely star die. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to offset it off the page a little bit so we get like a star aperture in our artwork here. So this centre part is going to be taken out. So let's just grab my die cutting plates. Oh, it seems a bit alien using my plates. I haven't used them for such a long time. So I'm just going to pop it onto, sorry for the headshot. I'm just going to pop it over and I'm just going to hang this die off the page. I'm just going to go a little bit higher. I think we'll go just, just there. I think it'll be perfect. So... So, any news on the paper pads? Do you mean paper pads as in going to TV when they're going to be on TV? 
is that what you mean? Is that Amanda who asked that question? Amanda, is that what you mean, sweetheart? So, um, while this is running through, let's see. So, Gillian, um, will I be doing Xmas Academy, Tony? Loving the Academy classes. So, we, were, we have had the conversation about this, and this conversation is still ongoing. Um, we have done a lot of Christmas this year. Um, so, to do more, um, not sure if it's the best plan in the world. However, I was thinking... Um, and you can let me know your thoughts. I know you're all quite honest. Um, I was thinking maybe we could do a small Christmas academy, maybe three weeks or something, but maybe do dyes instead of stamps because we've done a lot of stamps, so I'm not sure what, but maybe three weeks of dyes, Christmas dyes. You'll have to let me know, guys. It's still in the thought process, and because we're five weeks out with this academy anyway, um, we've got time to sort of like figure out exactly what we're going to do. If not, we might just do a Christmas Academy with what we've already got on board. So we'll see what happens. You know, because I think like 12 weeks is going to take us up to Christmas and you'll probably be back, sick to back teeth of Christmas by at that point, I'm sure. So I'm just going to remove my Eureka here, look. Oops, Daisy. And you can see there we've got this beautiful aperture now which is going to look super cool so we've created a window or a frame for whatever our work is going to be at the other side there can we see that there so you can see and I just did it off the page because I think it looks quite pretty so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that under there so it'll go nice and flat hopefully give it a press down and then I'm going to bring in a second piece of card so what we're going to do with this second piece pop it in the Eureka here and we're going to use the lovely cabin and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it over here because this is where my aperture is going to go over the top if that makes sense so let's go here like so so I'm just going to hold that in place and what we're going to do with this one is we're going to white emboss this one so I'm just going to use my sticky ink pad. I haven't got my embossing buddy, have I? Nope. So sticky ink pad for this one. And I'm just going to ink up this lovely stamp. Yep, I am reading all your comments and I'm taking them all in. Wow, torrential rain. It's coming, isn't it? It's so close is the weather. Karen, circular tulip silhouettes, that would be that would be fab. Yep, okay. I am listening. So let's stamp this one out first. Just gonna make sure I get all that detail in there. So always do it twice if you have a Eureka or a, a stamping aid of some form, do it twice. I can see it's picked up all of that lovely detail there. So I'm just going to grab some white cardstock here just to catch my embossing powder. I'm just going to pop some white on there. So you can see just there, there we are, look, you can see it's just picked up all that lovely detail with that powder. And then what we'll do is we will heat set this one.
So get your gun hot. And as soon as it's hot enough, you can heat set that powder. See if it'll show on the front. Just show you this one. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not because it's white on white, but we can have a good go. Just a little bit, but well, let's colour it. Oh, well done. Let's colour it. There we go. So let's colour it and see where it's going to take us. So there are various ways we could now colour this. Let's just set that aside. So we could, I'm going to go in with my blending brush, but if you wanted to, you could wa drop watercolour in on there if you wanted to, couldn't you? So let's just clean our brush off and let's get the lovely colour. Now, I'm, I'm leaning towards Mermaid Lagoon and Chipped Sapphire, two variations of the blue there. Can we see that there? So let's go this one first, Mermaid Lagoon. Just going to see what the colour looks like before I go ahead and always do a test so <coughs> let's go with this one then so all I'm going to do I'm going to pop some of this lovely colour over our image it will colour your embossing powder but we'll brush it off and bring the white to life and then this is where your lovely image comes to life okay so I'm going to start at the base Get lots of colour on there if you can. Don't matter if you go outside your design because that's going to be hidden anyway. You can see the cabins coming to life there. The more colour you put down the better. Just bring that colour down a little bit further and then just turn our artwork around and let's get some darker colour at the top. This is going to give us a little bit of a darker sky at the top hopefully. Oh, it will do if you use the right colour. Swap that one out for this one. see instantly how when you use the dark colour it pops a little bit more but I really do want the sort of night sky effect if I can see that it doesn't look like I've heat embossed that very well to be right I've lost a lot of my detail I think even though I did do it twice hey so we've got we see at least my cabin's there. Look, there we go. So you can see the bridge and the cabin. Can we see that there? Perfect. So let's clean off, let's tidy up. And let's set this aside. So what we're going to do now is we are going to bring in, let's have a look what we've got going on. In my lovely craft stash here. So you can soon see when you bring this one in and you pop this one on top, I'm going to mount this one, you have the sort of detail within the aperture there. It's not going to be flat though, so don't worry about that. What we need to do though is we need to elevate this star element, okay? So the embossing powder that I'm using is Claire Manning's from Thirsty Brush and um, it's a super, super 
fine powder that gives great results and i'm saying that after i've just not done mine very well um but yeah it's a fabulous powder if you do it right <laughs> so and i'm also going to be using american smooth glitter here and the weight of card that i'm using is just 250 gsm everyday cardstock nothing fancy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this detail after. So let's start to put this card together. What we need to do is we need to pop our sentiment on here though. So what I'm going to do is because we've got, I'm doing a blue and silver theme. We're going to have a silver sentiment today. Don't use silver, silver very often do we, but we are today. I'm just going to stick with the same stamp set and I'm going to go with... Um, just bringing my artwork here and we're going to go with joyful and triumphant because you can see that it fits beautifully across the bottom so i'm just going to hold my artwork in place And we'll heat set this one with some lovely silver embossing. Make sure I'm not missing anything. And I am going to make sure I get all of that detail. I won't let I won't be caught out on this sentiment, let me tell you. <laughs> so how is everybody? I've not really asked about it. Are people still being shielded? Are people still, you know, at home? Has anybody managed to get out who's been... Um, there we are, look how beautiful that is. Beautiful. Has anybody been um, out for the first time for a long time? How's it been? Because these things are quite daunting and scary, aren't they, after you've been indoors for so long? Still home, Tony, yep. And that's what I'm thinking, Joe. I think a lot of people are going to be nervous. Like, we still haven't been, like, to a shop or anything properly. You know, you see these people queuing at these shops. It's like, oh, no, I'm not ready. I am so not ready to go. I think it's just a little bit of anxiety. But I think it will pass. It will pass. It's just going to take time. So I'm just heat setting this one. So you can see how let's just show you how gorgeous this one is thank you there we go look at that really really pretty is that i love that font absolutely love it <laughs> it looks like a bit what's going on here it looks a bit rubbish that can does <laughs> Come on, get with the programme. The best things come at the last minute, she says. <laughs> she says. Eey. At least we're having fun, hey? And I'm so pleased you enjoyed yesterday's demos. I really did want to, you know, I had loads. I had loads. And that just goes to how much we've loved the products as well, doesn't it, I suppose? So let's get our artwork together. So I have a piece of mirror board here and I'm going to stick this piece that we did with our colour onto here, flat. Let's do this with a tape pen and some glue. So I'll just tape runner down the side. Sorry, I'm just going to lean in and make sure I get it nice and straight. Just grab some. Just going to grab some tissue. I'm just going to 
push it down and I am just going to burnish that. There we go. Bring the white back to life. There we go. How cool is that? There we go. So make sure when you do your heating, but I mean, I've lost a little bit of the detail in here. I didn't quite make sure it was covered, but I know you guys will perfect it at home. So there we go. So what we're going to do now is we are going to be a little bit creative. Just move that out of the way in the sense that now we're going to have to 3D this one. And I would say if you are going to do this design or this technique, make sure you're not tight with your pads because you'll end up with like... Um, your card will go like that because it's not sure where it's going because there's not enough pads. So try and get as many pads as you can around this star. And that's going to definitely give you the elevation around your artwork. So I'm just going in with these longish ones here. This would make a great shaker card thinking about it, wouldn't it? The star. And I did do a shaker card yesterday. Oh, well, that the day before. Oh, I don't know. I'm losing the plot. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm not losing the plot, but sometimes I do wonder. <laughs> Being told to stay until the end of June. Yeah, I can imagine the walls are closing in. It's been such a tough time, hasn't it? But, you know, we've all stuck together. We are coming out the back end of it. We really are. There is light at the end of the tunnel. We just need to stay together and you know talk to each other even if it's just a quick one minute hi how are you you need to just make sure you just keep the communication going i know i'm putting a lot of pads behind this one i really don't want it to sink though Yeah, we are very lucky to have each other, that's right. A lot of us, uh, a lot of people have actually managed to get out now, which is great, but a lot haven't. So still keep the communication between each other. I know you're fabulous at talking to each other on the um, Eureka fan page too. So I'm just removing all of the backing um, stickers here so we can get a nice image going on. And then this is where your cards is really going to come to life. And this is where then you can maybe add some sequins, some snow effect and do as you please, really. This white, this piece here that I'm doing, you didn't have to add the snowflakes in the background and you didn't have to add the uh, wash either. So personal preference, maybe try this one first. If you enjoy making it, then do your own twist on it and do a couple maybe because it's great, isn't it? Because I know a lot of you have started your Christmas cards now, which is cool. So if you're anything like me, it all gets left out last minute. And we've created some fabulous stuff for tags. And now we've got all the envelope ideas with our seals. So we've got it all going on. It's fabulous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this flat onto here. So this is our top folding white note card here. Can we see this here? So we could put pads behind, but I am going to go flat. Just get some glue. Like so. Prop this in the centre of our card. Give it the opportunity to grab. And then with this one that we've done, with the pads, we're going to stick on top. I'm just going to have to stand up to make sure it's straight on this occasion. And I'm just going to sort of line it up so it, fra sorry, so it frames that lovely cabin. Like so. And then... Just to elevate round here, you could pop a stitch round, but I'm going, I don't know. Um, do you think if I pop this around the star, the chunky one, it's going to spoil it with glue? 
or do you think I should go fine? Let me know what you think. Let's have a think. Fine, right, let's do it, fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use my um, quickie glue pen, because I don't want it to be like, oh, I see the sparkle before the beautiful like um, cabin. So all I'm doing is I'm just grabbing my glue pen here, and I'm just going around the star, just colouring in, and I'll do it bit by bit, and then this is gonna outline the lovely star, and sort of like make it pop a little bit. It is personal preference, I appreciate that. So some of you may go chunky, some of you may not, but I'm just going to go for the fine. I'm a bit scared. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to turn out and I don't want to ruin it. So I'm fine was the, the right decision. I'll show you at the end. So I'm just going to continue on and do this lovely um, glue pen all the way around. So I'm just scribbling outlining that snow that star snowflake whatever you wish to call it I'm just doing it a bit at a time though because i don't want it to dry before i get to the very end so that's two down So if you haven't got the cabin stamp and you haven't got the star, have a look in your stash. You might have a smaller star or outline die. You don't have to have it as big as this. And you don't have to have a cabin. You can use any Christmas, mistletoe, the birds on the branch. And all of our videos are starting to slowly get linked to the QR codes as well. So thanks for your patience on that. It's going to take a while to catch up, mind, but they are getting loaded on now. Staff are back in the building slowly. Just make sure I get all the glitter out from behind. It's probably all stuck to my phone pads and everything underneath. I'll just set this aside. And then let's just pop some lovely sequins around and then I'll hold it up and show you. But you can see the idea of the card. You can't, it is really, really pretty and very sparkly. Um, let's just pop some sequins around, some clear, cleary ones. I'm not going to do many though because the focus is the image and the star. So let's just pop a few around don't like that spot there which is half of that snowflake oh purple's not gonna go there we go so let's stick these ones in place so not really difficult at all just a little bit of ink blending Let's get some more glue. There we go. So let's hop, let's stand it up for you so you can see, see if we can get you to see the lovely. Oh, I'll tilt it this way because it's a little bit better. Can you see the sparkle around the star? There we go. So there we go. Something a little bit different. Um, and it's using old. Now I'm I hate calling our products old. I'm going to call them earlier products because our earlier products are as beautiful as our new products. I wouldn't create anything or put anything in a packet that I didn't think was beautiful. 
so there you go some um, earlier and some brand new products so and it's a big can <laughs> Um, but I, I do hope you can give it a try. I, d I don't think many of you knew where that one was going to start with, but you know, I do like to surprise you sometimes. I'm um, pleased you like it. Thank you, Amanda, Doreen, Diane. Thank you very much, guys. That's very kind. So tomorrow I'm on Create and Craft at 12 o'clock with two hours back to back. It's Christmas as well, and it's just a few bits that are left from our last two Christmas launches. Some of that earlier product and some of the paints and things like that. So that's 12 o'clock. I hope you can join me for that one and make sure you all have a lovely day and an e a lovely evening too and i will see you all friday at one o'clock and we'll do more christmas if you like and then we'll start the heart stamp on the monday if that is okay so whatever you're doing stay safe stay cozy i've got so much going on over the next five weeks i've got a surprise for you all which i'm working on right now and I can't wait to tell you all about it. So have a lovely evening. Oh, don't forget to comment after the live video underneath the YouTube video. That'd be brilliant. Thank you. Have a lovely evening. Take care. Bye.